channel if you're new here my name is Ryan and in today's video we are we're on our way right now downtown Toronto to do um, a bit of um, it's a back wall so we're just gonna lay some bricks on the back wall to try and finish it shouldn't take us more than one or two days I'm gonna take you with me on a drive to the job site so chill back and relax final reach on the job site I want to give you a walk around show you what we are about to do today um, as I said it's a it's a small back wall just gonna lay bricks and this is a super difficult one guys so stick around you're gonna see how we're gonna figure this out this is the brick that we have um, here today see we have our, our sign over there we have our cement here which all we use stipend cement for bricks like S cement for stone. We're doing a brick today. Okay, guys, no further ado, let's dive right into the video. Before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask for from making this video for you guys. Just so that the algorithm can recognize the video and share it to others so that, so that they may view and learn from it. Well. So let's dive right into it. So this is the brick that we have here. That's the brick that we're going to use. This is the back section here that we're working on today. As you see, I have my scaffolding set up here. Guys, this is extremely difficult the way it is. right now I'll just see what I did here because of the level of, of where this um, this concrete ledge is it's not level so I can I put a, a nail right there I string my um, I use my laser level to catch the level go all the way across so now what we're gonna do where the line is is where we're gonna bring up our concrete and then we're gonna start to lay our brick right on top of that concrete go right along the entire thing there Guys, so I have my rebars. Here I have some uh, three quarter inch rebars. I'm just gonna tie them in place now and get here, pour my concrete, and ready to start to lay our bricks. Guys, I'm using premix concrete mixed with Portland cement just to give it a bit of extra strength. <laughs> here this is the level that we want to bring it up to right now so we're perfect where level is is concerned go all the way over so we're just gonna let it sit here and dry and then we're ready to start to lay over so we finally finish our preparation now we're gonna start lay some bricks So I put my first brick down and now I'm just measuring from the back of the wall to have four and a half or four and three quarter. I usually go with four and a half, to, um, the most I go four and three quarter and it's very important to start with four and a half because sometimes the wall can be bad, the wall may be not plumb. So if you go with like three inches or three and a half inches, you buck your brick right up to the wall later on. You you might run up in issues later on so it's better to just start with three and a half from the wall out to the edge of your brick so now we're just um so right now i'm just installing some weeping plastic 
and as you guys know weeping plastic is what we use to help to prevent water from going on the inside once I install my weeping plastic my next step is to install my Tyvek right now I have everything nice and level pour my concrete and I have it sit for uh, 24 hours for it to dry very important to take the scene I'm using some tuck tape right now after you finish it should look something like this weeping plastic Tyvek as you see I have my seal installed I didn't show that in the video at the time but um, if you're interested in learning how to install seals I have lots of video there where you can check it out to see how to install a door seal right now I'm just running the band right across it's very important to run your band started from down low the reason for that when you go above the, the door you want to have a straight line of bricks go right across so that's one of the main purpose why um, you want to run your band to make sure that you have all full bricks go right across so that once you go above the door or your window you don't have to cut So I line up my brick right over this side I just put one in front and then take the one at the back and put in front and we just keep on repeat right until we reach over to the other side where the full brick started and as you see I'm doing it right above the, the door there so that we can have a perfect straight line run above once we complete once we reach up to the top of our door you see what I mean I'm watching very important when spreading your mortar to clear the cavity so as you spread your mortar just clear behind your brick avoid touching the line here I'm allowed to touch the line because I'm the only bricklayer working right now but in most cases you're gonna have lots of bricklayer on the same wall that you're working on so that's one of the main reasons why you don't want to disturb the line so that you can affect anyone else who's working on the line Whenever you're catching your band like this, usually the first two courses on the concrete ledge is the two most important coasts. If you mess it up, you're going to mess up the entire band. So take your time, no rush. Take your time and catch the band properly. And afterwards, you can move fast if that's something that you, you like to do. was a tricky one guys but we finally figured it out um, because it was it was way off level you know so our only option was to re-pour a, a foot in there with some three quarter inch rebar and I drill it down in the in the existing footing and I use PL to um to cement it into the concrete into the existing concrete so that we have a proper connection to the existing concrete. So here I'm just building a lead right now and then afterwards we're gonna go ahead and install our corner post so that it's more faster and easier for us. But because it's just a single 
coastal brick, I want to go up a few courses so that way the, the corner post doesn't push the, push away the the bricks. Guys, if you're getting value from this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming videos like this one. Let's keep going. And if you first if it's your first time laying brick, just you know just keep on practice. The more you practice is the more you will become perfect. Focusing on getting it getting the job done right don't mainly focus on speed because if you focusing on speed or watching another player who's working beside you because he's going fast you want to try and go fast it's going to be more difficult more it's going to take you more time to learn how to lay brick the proper way so just take your time get it right no rush and once you learn it your speed gonna come automatically just doing some joints right now and remember you want to leave your weeping hole I like to leave my weeping hole and clean them out afterwards right here I use some concrete nail just to hold that one in place as you go up 